Welcome to the first ever interviewing fictional characters with Mickey G. Today I have with me Mr. Edward Rochester from the prestigious novel Jane Eyre. How are you doing today, Mr. Rochester? How are you doing today? Um, I've been better. Could that have something to do with your broken engagement with Jane Eyre? Um, yes, most definitely. Um, I've tried to move on, but it's been very difficult over the past few months. Understandable. Understandable. But why was the engagement called off? And at the wedding, no less. Well, um, Richard Mason had brought uh, his lawyer, Mr. Briggs, to the wedding. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Briggs informed the congregation that marrying Jane would be committing bigamy. And was this accusation true? Yes. Tell me more. When I was younger, my father arranged a marriage for me. Uh, my wife, uh, once we were married, was revealed to be insane. And by the laws of the land, I was unable to divorce her uh, because of her insanity. So, you were previously married, but it yes. wasn't one that you considered very marriage-like? Um, is that true? Um, yes. Um, understandably, Jane did not take the news well and left Thornfield. Incredible. Now, before your engagement to Jane, it was thought you would marry uh, Blanche Ingram. So, what happened there? Um, well, she didn't... Mr. Rochester, both is burning the bloody house! What? Um, uh, it seems that uh, that's all the time we have for today. Um, uh, uh, join us next time when I interview someone else.